Alright guys, I'm here at Mr. and Chippy. We're setting up, so this is gonna be a short intro. I am very excited. I'm taking you on their ultimate quad buster challenge. This thing is absolutely huge. I think the time limit is 40 minutes. The record is like 18 minutes. It's a lot. I think it's almost four kilos of food. It's a lot. We've got mushy peas, we've got gravy, we've got curry sauce, we've got uh, um, oh my god, baked beans, thank you, I'm a bit tired and hungry, huge, huge piece of fish, loads and loads of chips, Thank you. very excited, lots of lemon, I think we'll get to it, yeah, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, far away boys, five, eight. come on guys, good luck, all right everyone welcome back to another video and this was my sixth food challenge in five days as you know i was joining josh the goat on his second british food tour the night before this we'd taken on that three liter milk chug links down below for that video but today for the sixth food challenge, we thought let's have six eaters take on this epic eight pound fish and chip challenge. That curry sauce is absolutely amazing. Oh, shit. Look how thick that fish is. Dorsey was right. This piece of battered cod was absolutely huge. 32 ounces. That's almost a kilo's worth of battered cod. It was really good though. The batter was really crispy and the fish was really moist. But the best part about this challenge, it wasn't the sides, although they were really, really tasty. It was getting to eat with five other of my best foodie friends. So from left to right, can't really see him on the screen, but we've got Tunny versus Food. He's released his video. I'll drop a link down below for that. He is a really good British eater. He came second in the British Eating League Steak Challenge held earlier this year. And then we've got Stefan Anderson. He's from Germany. He's amazing. He came second in our milk chug challenge the night before. And you've seen him in a couple of my videos, a polar bar pancake video and that bread or dead challenge, which was absolutely insane. Then you've got Dorsey the Beast, absolute legend in the game. And then we've got Josh the Goat, honestly, my best foodie friend. And then right at the end, you can't really see him, but we've got Still Rod Radim, the legend that is Still Rod Radim. He's eaten with the world famous Randy Santel. And me and Redeem have got a couple of videos coming up, including an epic meter long pizza challenge. But back to this epic fish and chip challenge, at just under five minutes in, I felt like I hadn't even made a dent in anything. I was piling my way through the fish and chips, but they just didn't seem to be going down. It felt like it was regenerating. But I've got to ask you guys, what are your time predictions? Oh, wow. One for you ASMRers, I've got to say, the batter on this cod was so delicious and crispy. Beans are down, i do that. Look at that, honestly. Look at that. Oh no, I lost a couple of chips. I'm gonna have to go on the floor and pick them up in the end. I hope you said that. Mmm, really good. Mm. Anyway, that's fish down. Let's get on this mountain of flim chips. So I've got curry or gravy. They're both really good. The curry sauce and the gravy were both really good, but I don't know if I would have mixed them like that, Dorsey. So good. They were so crispy, so, so good. So I've got to ask everyone, do you like fish and chips? And if so, what type of fish do you usually have? This one was cod and it was absolute beast, but there are also haddock and place. I really like haddock, but does that make me sound a bit strange? Yeah, you have I forgot the bread too. Yeah, I made a classic schoolboy error there. I completely forgot that these four slices of bread were included in the challenge. So I thought, let's try it with some of these mushy peas, which actually went down really well, but I was really enjoying the beef gravy. Never had beef gravy on my fish and chips as a my southerner, and it was delicious. <laughs> Time for some lemon. Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> yes. Who has lemon on their fish and chips? I know I really like to, but what about vinegar? I completely forgot. I love vinegar, and I didn't even put any on. More bread. I forgot the bread was included. <laughs> Mmm, 
Mmm. I don't know why, buttered bread is just so good. Leaving no doubt with the curry sauce. Having almost finished off all of the four sides that we had here, I think my favourite was definitely the curry sauce. But what would your favourite be? Baked beans, curry sauce, gravy or mushy peas? That was the owner there. A big shout out to Mrs and Chippy. They were amazing hosts here and it was hilarious. I think out of the six eaters, he didn't think I was going to do this at all. So I kind of had a little bit of a point to prove, which I think I was doing at this point. 12 minutes in and I was definitely starting to see the light at the end of this fish and chip challenge. <laughs> Done. Come on, the encouragement from the staff was absolutely amazing. But I don't want to put you under pressure, Joel did two in 37 minutes. Yes, that's right. The legend that is Joel Hansen, aka Model vs Food, did two of these challenges. That's 16 pounds of fish and chips and these sides. But not only that, Scott Eats did the single challenge in 18 minutes, which is phenomenal. Not what I should have said, though, is whoever finishes first can wash the box. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't fancy washing up all these plates, but I did really want to do well, and I was hoping that I was going to be the first out of all six of us to finish this challenge. What do you guys think, though? How are your time predictions coming on? But at just over 16 minutes, I really didn't have a lot left, but I was starting to struggle. You could see me wincing. I was really feeling not only this challenge, but all six other challenges I had done the previous days. But at 17 minutes, I'd finished the last of the sauces, the curry sauce. I think my favorite but time was running out for me to beat the record of 18 minutes. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, didn't manage to beat Scott's record, but I was still gonna try and get the second best time for this food challenge and beating Beard Meets Food Time of 21 minutes, 18 seconds. I dropped some chips so I gotta go retrieve them. And as I duck under the table to fish out the last of the chips that I dropped on the floor. And yes, I'm keeping to my two videos a week. Next Wednesday's video is an at home challenge. Next Sunday's video is the biggest donut in Britain. Previews of both of them at the end of this video. Done. 19 minutes 25. I did not beat Scott's time, but that's because Scott is like unbelievably good eater. Thank you. Sorry, Mitch. <laughs> Dorsey's over here enjoying it. Um, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm still in the midst of everyone else still eating, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Honestly, guys, I'll leave all the links to everyone's videos in the description. Everyone is going to be different in terms of their videos, so you're going to want to watch them all, all six videos. This thing was absolutely epic. Honestly, one of the best fish and chips I've ever had. The, the breading on the fish was absolutely delicious and really, really thick. Fish. I really like the um, chips as well and again I love uh, mushy peas I've never had gravy I'm a southern boy I've never had gravy on chips but I might actually have to start requesting it because that was really good curry sauce was absolutely outstanding I think he said Irish curry sauce it was really really good and then yeah baked beans always a winner for me so yeah very happy I think I've got the so I think I'm number two on the leaderboard now uh, I, I beat beer meets food which is really good but yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to let you guys all watch everyone else's videos to see how they did. Thanks, Mr. and Chippy, for having us all down. This is a lot to prepare, so if you're ever in the area, please come down. It's like near Doncaster. Very, very hospi hospitable and amazing food. So yeah, thanks everyone. Bye. Bye. I do another outro sometimes. Hungrily dominate. It's better than liquor. <laughs> Hungrily dominate humbly. <laughs> Thank you. He gave me, I forgot to say, I totally messed up. Thank you, Dorsey. I totally messed up at the start and didn't even say, you get this t-shirt is honestly amazing. But the back, I'll show you properly uh, in the outro, but the back is absolutely amazing. Must be, it just. Come on, get out. Must be good.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exit this now and let everyone else eat. I keep on doing this as well. I shouldn't be looking there. Look here. Yeah, you can see how red my face is as well. Ah, oh, it's so, so much. Oh, you can see, see a little English flag as well. It's got the German one. You can see on the other video. I'll tell you.